What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost. And before we start, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope you're having a fantastic day. But speaking of Christmas, speaking of virgin births, um, I have something I want to talk about. And this is this article from Screen Rant and things that the Lucasfilm Story Group has said over the past uh, day or so. And I'll just read the headline right here. Star Wars Emperor Palpatine did not create Anakin Skywalker. Um, even though there's obviously been speculation out there for years about what actually happened, we had a description of events in Darth Plagueis, the Legends novel that, uh, you know, in 2014 they decided to do away with, so then they had a blank slate. Um, we have, you know, stuff from, I'll show you, I'll show all this stuff to you guys. We have stuff from George Lucas's original script about Palpatine being the father of Anakin that eventually got cut from the final draft of Revenge of the Sith. And then we also have this Vader comic that came out about a year ago that people have been talking about for a year. So the question is, why now? Why now is the Lucasfilm Story Group finally coming forward and saying something? So we will get into all of that today. Um, but let's just start with this article. Uh, the, story, the Star Wars Story Group officially confirms Anakin Skywalker was not created by Palpatine. Will the Chosen One's origin ever be revealed? Uh, and there will be spoilers for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker ahead. And that goes for you too. It's official. No, Emperor Palpatine did not create Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars canon. When George Lucas launched the prequel trilogy in 99, he introduced Anakin Skywalker as the prophesied chosen one. This ancient Jedi prophecy stated the child would be born conceived as a virgin birth, destined to bring balance to the Force. It was clearly a messianic symbol, albeit quite a confused one. Then, in Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, Palpatine dropped what many viewers believed to be an important clue. He seduced Anakin Skywalker to the Darth side by dark side by telling him the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, his own mentor. According to Palpatine, Plagueis wasn't just any Dark Lord, but so powerful and wise he could use the Force to influence the midichlorians to create life. This seemed to explain the previously inexplicable, suggesting either Plagueis or more likely Palpatine himself had secretly created Anakin. Since then, the theory has been generally accepted as a fact by many viewers, especially after Lucino's novel, Darth Plagueis. Now, to get into that novel really quickly, um, it, it doesn't say that Palpatine created Anakin or that Plagueis even created Anakin. Uh, what it really says is that Plagueis and Sidious were meditating deeply, trying to will the midichlorians, trying to increase the dark side, trying to tip the balance of power in the galaxy to the dark side. Um... And it wasn't enough for Plagueis there. Plagueis continued to try to manipulate midichlorians across the galaxy in order to create a perfect being. And when he was doing this, the Force essentially responded. The Force created Anakin Skywalker, conceived Anakin Skywalker. It was not Plagueis. It was Plagueis and Sidious's actions uh, but it was not them specifically willing that life into existence, if that makes any sense. That's at least how I completely interpret that. And I think the pretty general consensus uh, of most people who, who have read the Expanding Universe and have read Plagueis. But moving on in this article. But statements from the Lucasfilm Story Group on social media have finally cleared up, cleared up the mystery, at least for now. As far as Lucasfilm is concerned, Anakin Skywalker was not directly created by Palpatine. Um, and that did come from Matt Martin. Um, and Matt Martin, again, is part of the Lucasfilm Story Group. He is one of the people on it that does actually interact with fans on Twitter a lot. And, and to be honest, 99% of the interactions I see him having with fans are really good. Um, and he's, he's pretty respectful about everything he says. So just, just putting that out there, um, you know, when we have the bad interactions, I think it's important that we talk about the good interactions as well. Um, Viewers were taken aback when the concept of the Chosen One was introduced. Um, George Lucas had previously drawn his Star Wars mythology from Eastern mysticism, particularly Buddhism. But suddenly, he was linking in the Christian concept of virgin birth. It seemed a somewhat uncomfortable fit, and as a result, there would instantly speculation that Anakin's conception was some great mystery that would eventually be resolved. Palpatine's words in Revenge of the Sith appeared to confirm that, and the point was made far more explicit with an early draft. There, Palpatine explicitly stated he had... Well, let's just pull it up. Here. Let's pull it up here. Um, boom. So this is from an early draft. Uh, on Coruscant, Palpatine completes his seduction of Anakin, who at first refused to go to the dark side, until the Chancellor makes a startling confession. Sidious, I have waited all these years to, for you to fulfill your destiny. 
I arranged for your conception. I used the power of the force to will the midichlorians to start the cell divisions that created you. Anakin, I don't believe you. Darth Sidious, ah, but you know it's true. When you clear your mind, you will sense the truth. You could almost think of me as your father. Anakin, that's impossible. Darth Sidious, nevertheless, you must decide. And you can see clearly the parallels between this moment and in Empire Strikes Back uh, when Vader reveals himself to be Luke's father. Even, you know, that's impossible. Um, you know, it's right there, plain as day. So that is from an early draft. It did not make it to the final cut. Um, this became part of the old expanded universe, courtesy of Lucino's Darth Plagueis novel. It was rendered non-canon when Disney started its own plans, like we talked about. The idea was revisited in Charles Soule's Darth Vader comics, which appeared to show, yet again, that Palpatine created Anakin Skywalker. Um, revisiting events of his life during a walk through the Force, and we can actually show you some of these things, because um, I, have, I have that as well. So, let's go to it here. So, this is um, basically Anakin... Um, Anakin having like a force vision, you know, uh, a force vision where he becomes just himself in the forest. This is on Mustafar at Fortress Vader. So as you can see, he, he kind of is shedding the, the cybernetics as he's walking through this gateway and he is just becoming himself how he sees himself in the force, right? And he sees a bunch of really weird stuff. I will say that he sees a bunch of really weird stuff, some of which didn't really happen, like Obi-Wan, uh, fighting, uh, fighting Sidious, and he sees all the Jedi Masters together that he needs to fight. Things like that. Uh, strange things. This is from the Vader comic, I believe issue 25. Uh, I, I don't read a lot of new canon. However, when this did come out, I did check it out because um, having this in here with Palpatine directly being the father of Anakin was something that I, you know, I wanted to see. Here we go. And you can see, you know, zoom in here, um, scroll here. So he sees a vision of Shmi pregnant. There was no father. You know, this is Anakin walking through this plane. And then he sees Palpatine behind his mother, unnatural, the chosen one. And I mean, come on, look at this. Look at what they are showing. <laughs> look at what they are showing on Shmi's pregnant pregnant belly, right, with Palpatine behind her, with Sidious behind her. So of course, people immediately thought that that is what this meant, that Palpatine is the father. And people have been talking about this for a year. There were huge articles on all these same websites talking about how, wow, it's in canon, Palpatine is Vader's father. Like that's been all over the place. And we've talked about it forever, especially when talking about if Kylo and Rey ever got together, that it would basically be almost like incest because Palpatine would be Pal uh, Rey's uh, grandfather. And then he was also involved in creating Anakin. So he's like Kylo, he, you know, Kylo is kind of a descendant of him as well. But why is this all coming out now? I don't know. Lucasfilm confirms Anakin Skywalker was not conceived by Palpatine. But it seems that's not the case after all. Matt Martin, a member of the Lucasfilm story group who worked with Charles Soule in the Darth Vader comment, has stepped forward to insist Palpatine did not directly create Anakin Skywalker. As noted by Cultural Crave, he took to social media to confirm that the scene is all inside Anakin's head, or the scene is all in Anakin's head, and that it does not intend to imply anything about Anakin's origin. And then Charles Soule himself came out and he said, um... He saw Anakin Skywalker diving deep into the dark side of the Force and that the dark side is not a reliable narrator. And basically that neither of them intended for it to be seen as though Palpatine was the father. In truth, a critical examination of the scene supports this interpretation. In Anakin Skywalker's vision, Shmi is shown to already be pregnant when Palpatine stands behind her. Thus, it's probably better seen as a symbolic representation, perhaps implying the Emperor would come to dominate the destiny of the child. Palpatine is not shown as Anakin's father, rather he's being portrayed as the father figure who fills that particular void within his life. That is most definitely a message the dark side of the Force would like to send to Darth Vader, who at this point was still new in his role as a Sith apprentice. Now, to be honest... Um, I don't know what they intended with that. I, I, if that had been the belief all along, then why didn't they step forward and say something about this? Why didn't the story come out when a year ago these rumors have, not rumors, this is just what everybody thought. 
People were writing articles about it being fact that now he's in canon as Vader's father. Why didn't this happen that long ago? Why do you wait until now? And the only thing I can think of is because there's so many people that are now talking about Rey and Kylo as an incestual relationship. That's the only thing. But if, you know, if they knew that was going to be the case, if they knew that that's how so many people saw it, then why wouldn't they have cleared this up sooner? Why wouldn't they have cleared this up before the Rise of Skywalker? Is it because due to the reshoots? Is it because due to the reshoots of Rise of Skywalker that they didn't even have a kiss until that last reshoot? So maybe the story room wasn't completely uh, up to speed? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Uh, to me, it seems pretty clear that this is what everyone felt for the past year since this, uh, since this comic came out. And we had this creepy thing of Palpatine stand behind her. Everyone was talking about this. So it seems strange to me. It doesn't make any sense. But that is the official answer we now have from the Lucasfilm story group. Trying to clear up any, any problems or any issues that people may have with a Rey and Kylo kiss. So that's the story. That's the news. I do think it's pretty important. Again, Lucasfilm story group having to come out and talk about the confusion that they have in their canon. Uh, it's their job to clear things up like this, but something about this doesn't make any sense to me why it waited this long to happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you think, like the vast majority of everyone else, that that's what that was intended to mean, that Palpatine was the father, that Palpatine is the father of Anakin Skywalker? Do you think this was a, a reaction to everything that people are saying? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.